Hi there. Well, as you can see, the answers to part A are x squared, and the answer to part B is x to the 4 over 4, or a quarter x to the 4. Now, I'll just take you through the methods, just in case there were any problems. For something like this, where you've got x to the 6 to the power a third, what we do is multiply these two values together, 6 times a third, or a third of 6, which is 2. So you end up with x squared. And then for the second question here, simplify root 2x cubed, all divided by the root of 32 over x squared. Then what I've done is I've taken this part here and used the rule that when you're square rooting the fraction, it's the same as the root of the top over the root of the bottom. I've left the root 32, as you can see here, as root 32, but the square root of x squared is x. And then, rather than use the division sign, I've created this particular form, okay? Just by writing the division line here. Now, what I've got here is a stacked fraction, or I call it a stacked fraction. And I don't like that idea of turning upside down and multiplying. It's not really that mathematical. What we're doing, remember, is multiplying the fraction by 1 in the form of x over x here, because it eliminates this x. It cancels out, OK? So that leaves us with root 2 x cubed times x, which is root 2 x to the 4, all over root 32. And then I pick up on the rule for thirds that if you're dividing, then I can divide, in this case, the 2 into the 32 to give me 16. So we end up with root 16 there in the denominator. Square root of 16 is 4. Notice that I don't write plus or minus here. It doesn't have a plus or minus on the front here. So that's just left as a quarter x to the power 4 or x to the power 4 over 4. It's up to you. All right?